Hey guys, this is PC on your TV. This is the Chihuahua Tap House pick of the day. I am here with Mr. Jim Miranda and his 68 three quarter ton C10 original pickup. Jim, please tell us a little bit about your vehicle. Well, when we got, uh, when we picked up Dixie, it was a project car. It was a graduation gift for my son's uh, high school graduation. So we figured we'd do a project together. It was a rust bucket. And over the course of uh, three years, it went from rust bucket to what you see here. Yeah, this is beautiful. All right, tell us more about it. I had uh, never knew how to weld. I was always afraid of welding. And because I couldn't find anybody to, to do the body work for me because it was a rust bucket, I took it upon myself and bought a welder from Eastwood. Yeah. Yeah, Eastwood. And uh, shit, I, I learned how to weld. I took. You did this great. fender, which was all wrecked, and I cut grooves in it and learned how to weld. Made dog shit for the first six, three weeks, but yeah, yeah. But uh, as you can see, you know, I welded it. Everything. These are all brand new, all new roof. Really good right job. Here, rear cab corners. So you're saying you laid down a few rat turds before you figured I, out what yes, you're doing? Yes, I mean my buddy goes, "You're a grinder, not a welder yet." Keep. I know what I'm getting you for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Look did. at this, guys. Look at the look at this work here, man. Jim, this is impressive, man. For a first time around, I yeah. gotta say, man. I I'm never... a welder fabricator. I've been building for 25 years, and when I see good work, I know good work, and I see good work. The new inner and outer rocker panels. Uh, yeah. So oh, I think that a pain in the foot. Patching. Yeah. God, I did mine on my 71, and it's just a pain. It looks so good, man. Looking good. All right, uh, going on. Inside. They were they were known for having rust all throughout, all up in here. And so from here, here, and all the way around to about here on both sides is all new metal. Wow, look at that, you guys. This is all new metal work up in here. Impressive, man. Very good. Very, very good. So these trucks were known for having smell of gas inside. Yeah. Yep. So one of the first things I did during the resto was buy the, the, the tank. Relocation set back The relocation and... Uh, I'd never done a wood bed before, so we, re we rebuilt a brand new uh, tailgate, our new uh, bed, and um, located the wood back here. So what's your wood? It's uh, red oak. Is it red oak? Yeah, and so, so are the side gates too. Yeah, I saw the side gates. I got some nice pictures of those too. Yeah, and I, I made these also. And I've done tank relocation, several tank relocations as well. It's the only way to go. It really is. And like you said about the rust issues, these were not built to last more than five years. No, they were really not designed. They were, you know, I try to tell people, I go, these were shovels, okay? They were not meant for anything other than that. It's just like buying a race car. They're meant for a certain amount of life and that's it. And it's amazing that we still have these trucks and look what you've done. Yeah. The, uh, the wood, uh, I went with uh, teak oil because we surf out of this vehicle. Mm -hmm. You can see I put these uh, hooks in so when you put your boards in the back, they hang off the gate. And then you just bungee here and it holds your boards in place. And of course, what are you going to do with a spare? So I relocated it to, as a new fabricator, a rookie fabricator, I made myself my own bracket. It works. And what's nice is the side panels kind of uh, kind of conceal a little bit too. It's not like it doesn't like stick out. So it's a nice it's a nice thought you did there, and it was a good idea. Right, it was a lot of thought. My son, who's an artist, he really helped me with the. He picked the color. He picked how he how he envisioned how he wanted it to look. Wanted to keep it classy. Wanted to keep it functional. Very surfy. You've got all the right stuff going on. I really do appreciate you guys coming out today. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to say to the? YouTube folks. Yeah, uh, you know, don't be afraid to try it. Get in on it. You know, since we got this truck and we've had so many new friends with, you know, back in the car culture again and tying that with surfing and music, you know, I feel blessed. I feel lucky. What a great day. What so great basically, day. guys, if you can build it, build it. If you got to buy it, buy it. But either way, become part of that hot rod family because we all love it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, man. All right, you're welcome. Take care. Thank you.